104.9 FM. Uh, this is the flow of God's own state. Thank you very much for joining us this morning on the platform. It is the pinnacle of all discussions. We take a critical look at some of the issues affecting us in this country and also Nigeria. We dissect them so that you can make better decisions in the nearest future. Welcome on board. My name is Michael Oni. Well, so much talk about who is going to be the next governor of Abia State. Of course, the politicking is on and especially in the people's democratic party and the all progressives uh, ground alliance we, we've not seen much happening in the all progressives congress but some questions are very much important to be asked at this point in time questions of who is the who uh who is the person that wants to become the governor of abia state you know uh it's uh, a question of uh, uh, morality it's a question of uh, uh well that we should ask because we are surrendering uh, the states to such a person and the question of where is the person coming from what is the address of the person and what has the person done before these are some of the questions that abians are asking as we speak anyways uh this morning i will be joined i'm being joined in the live in the studios of flow 94.9 even as we're streaming live on our facebook page facebook.com forward slash flow 949 fm i'm being joined by one of the uh hopefuls i mean he wants to be the candidate of the all progressive grand alliance although he has been in the all progressive grand alliance and uh, he has remained there uh, he has not uh, i've not heard any story of him defecting maybe cross capping him from one party to another uh he has seen so much in the party all progressive grand alliance so and uh he w he has picked the ticket uh, the nomination form uh, for the uh, party all progressive grand alliance and he wants to become the candidate of the party and also become the governor of abia state god's own state i'm being joined by in the studio by interpol system expert a security analyst uh a security expert uh, Udense. glad to have you join us welcome to the studios of flow 94.9 fm and good morning to you thank you very much thanks for having me uh mike you're welcome. It's still proper to say happy birthday to you. Yesterday was your birthday. Yes, yesterday was my birthday. But uh, like uh, I usually do, mm. I don't celebrate. I reflect on uh, the happenings in the country mm. and also especially the happenings in my state. Mm. And I reach out to the less privileged persons. And that's what gives me joy. And that's exactly how I celebrate my birthdays. All right, let, let's begin the conversation. Interesting. You want to become the governor of Abia State. This is not the first time. Uh, beyond the name Sachiko Dense, which many persons know in Abia State as a philanthropist, especially what you did for uh, the pensioners, and uh, coming out at one time to become the governor. This is not the first time you're coming out. We want to know more about Chief Chikwe Udense. Who is Chief Chikwe Udense? That's a very difficult one for me. Okay. I, don't, I don't know how to f say who I am. Okay. But, uh, I am uh, an Igbo man, like okay. you know, a 24 karate Igbo man. Uh, studied marketing uh, in, uh, and uh, served in 1984. I also uh, commenced uh, my career as a professional in uh, two companies. First of all was uh, Sun Gold International and uh, Southeastern uh, Machine and Tools. So between uh, 1985 and 1999, uh, for 15 years, mm. I uh, went through the tutelage of uh, managing people, managing persons, creating wealth, which is very important, and that's what governance is all about. Your ability to manage persons, manage individuals, and also create and uh, create wealth and uh, create the enabling environment for wealth to be created mm. uh, you 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 know that uh, not too long ago i served uh, as a member of the transition committee of uh, uh, in Anambra. In Anambra. that's not the first time i'm serving okay in 1999 i served in tinubu's transition committee i was mm. the uh, i headed the tra the traffics oh. this is because uh, i initiated and implemented the new plate license scheme. The new the license scheme you have, I initiated it. The equipment at the Federal Road Safety are my equipment. Many people don't know this. Mm. I created that idea. I initiated it. 
And it was because of those innovative ones that Atirubu made me a member of the transition committee. And uh, I also initiated the enhanced central motor registry, the uh, computerization of the central motor registry. And um, between uh, 2008 and 2004, I, think, I was the uh, secretary general of the Association of Local Governments of Nigeria, Algon. I ran 774 local governments. I was the administrative head for that period of time. I don't also forget that I'm a, I'm a fellow, senior fellow of ethical leadership of the University of Nigeria and Soka. I'm also a recipient of Zeke's Award on Innovation and Creativity. Mm. For four years, I was the best security consultant uh, in the country and also won gold. Interpol Gold for Creativity in Security Systems. Uh, this is what Chief Udense is all about. Very prepared, very ready to bring my knowledge, my experience to bear in management of uh, the affairs of uh, Abia State. Interesting. Okay, uh, we talk to newsmakers here and you're looking at your portfolio. You're definitely a newsmaker. Why do you want to become the governor of Abia State? This is not your first attempt in becoming the governor of Abia State to managing the affairs of the God's own state, the Alpha State. Why do you want to become the governor of this state? Yes, I, uh, this idea of having to go for the governorship of Abia State started when I started building my home, uh, my house, my second house in uh, 2011. Uh, uh, 11 okay. or 12. That's when I, the idea came up. I would travel from, I would fly into Enugu or fly into Oweri and I'll go by road. Uh, by the time you get to Abia State, the whole thing would change. The uh, roads, the infrastructure, the whole attitude would change. And I began to wonder what is going on here. If you go to Aba to buy things uh, for, my, uh, for the construction work I was doing, you will find out that uh, things were not the way they, they ought to be, especially if you compare us with our neighbors. So the idea is, who is ruling us? What are we missing at all? What can we do better? So I began to think, listen, we must have to change this trajectory. We must have to change what is happening in Abia. We need to do better, and we ought to do better. That is when the whole idea commenced. And I decided to say, listen, let us look for how best to manage our resources and our wealth. And you can see that I've been, I've been vindicated. Uh, the place is being poorly managed. And I think we can do better in Abia State. Uh, do, do you think you're competent enough to change the narrative of the state? Because in your opinion, you believe things are not being managed well. Are you competent enough to change that narration? Well, you, don't, you cannot say what anybody can do tomorrow except from what he did yesterday. Look at what I've done yesterday. I've managed human beings and resources. I've managed 774 local governments and billions of naira and dollars in resources. And there are no complaints about it. People were happy for it. In fact, you can see what uh, they have written severally, the various uh, incoming governments of Algon, on my efforts. And also, I'm a security consultant. What we require today in Abia State and in Nigeria as a whole is to ensure that there's proper security in the place. Without security, nothing can work. Without security, nothing can function. You can have a enormous economic enabling arrangement. You can have enormous ideas. Without proper security, nothing can work. I was talking a few days ago with uh, a young lady who is the uh, chairperson for tourism in Abia State. Okay. And I said, listen, you can't talk about tourism when uh, they, there's no security of life and property. You can't talk about tourism when their infrastructure is very poor. You can't talk about tourism when the attitude of the people is so negative. You don't talk about tourism when there is nothing to rely on in terms of infrastructure. So tourism is like tourists know where the sugar is. If the environment is good, if there's security, you don't need to beg any tourists to come. Tourists will come and ensure that uh, 
they enjoy themselves in that well, environment. If, if your party, the All Progressive Brown Alliance, uh, gives you the ticket to so to be the flag bearer of the party for uh, to be the candidate, the governorship candidate of the party, do you have the street credibility? Are you at home with the people? Do they know you? Do they know Sachiko Dense? What have you done so far to ensure that you've entrenched your legacy in the minds of the people? I think that will speak more for you. Well, I do not want to see myself. I don't want to mirror myself. I don't want to start saying good things about myself. It's a sign have... pe people look beyond party lines now. Because yes. if you look at the politics that is being played in Nigeria now, they are looking beyond the party. They are looking at the credibility of the person that the party is presenting. That's that's why I'm asking that that's, question. That's why I told you, look about yesterday. If any man tells you he wants to build a seven-story building for you, let him show you the one-story building he has built. Look at what I have done over the years. It is not easy. It is not by uh, chance that somebody wins the Zix Award on innovation and creativity. It's not by chance that anybody becomes a fellow of ethical leadership of the University of Nigeria and Soka. It's not by chance. It is not by chance that somebody runs 774 local governments effectively and during my tenure I can count the benefits the country uh, gained. Look at the, the um, uh, return of the Paris Club and London Club uh, benefits, the refund the London and Paris Club reform. It was during my time. I initiated it and made sure that over 3.2 billion naira that was overpaid by the Obasanjo government through the local government funds. It was returned to local government, states benefited and federal government benefited. You have to understand that one has to properly be ready for the enormous tasks. And also you have to understand the problems of the people. I understand the problem of Abia State today. I understand where the shoe pinches because I wear the shoe. I understand. I've taught every local government. I've spoken to our people. I also live among our people. And I understand exactly what the problem is today. And that is why I'm well positioned. I'm sure you have politics. a strategy because this is not the first time you're taking a shot in becoming the candidate of your party and then becoming the governor of Abia State. I'm sure you have a strategy that you put in place to ensure that uh, uh, you make the change that you're preaching on the program this morning so what are your plans to lift abia from the doldrums you mean when i become governor yes or before i become governor when you become governor yeah when i become governor uh abia's situation is very peculiar okay i heard a few of my friends talk about they are going to employ people no i'm not going to employ anybody i will first of all make sure that those who are employed are paid the salaries Today we have between 28 to 31 months backlog of salaries. I'm not going to say I'm going to start construction, co constructing new roads. When the old existing roads are not well properly taken care of, I will first of all make sure that the existing roads are motorable. I won't talk about building new hostels when we have hostels in every locality. In fact, while I was Secretary General of Algon, we ensured that we have 774 primary health care centers. So we have to ensure that these ones are functional, well equipped, and then the personnel to run them are there. You can't start building new ones when the old ones that are existing are not properly taken care of. So Abia's problem is peculiar. Anybody who talks about going to commence a building on a very faulty foundation is making a big mistake. I have said it over and over that I will overhaul the Abia, Abia uh, uh, civil service uh, structure. I will make sure it's a functional structure. I'm not going to say I'm going to start employing people. No, I will not do that. I will first and foremost ensure that the foundation on which these structures are based are strong enough. Mm. If you don't put those foundations in place, it will fall, just like it is falling right now. Okay, in case you just joined us, it is the last edition of the program, the platform, the pinnacle of all discussions for the week, right here on Flow 94.9 FM. And we'll be speaking with Chief Chikwe Udense. Uh, he's seeking to become the candidate of the All Progressive Grand Alliance uh, come 2023 general elections. And we've been looking at his plans. Very soon, we're going to delve into party politics, how 
he intends to do the horse trading and of course get a nod of his party to represent the party uh, come 2023 general elections and of course to become the governor of Abia State. But before we get to that point, you've talked about uh, some of your plans. You've revealed some of your plans. Uh, those are capital intensive, uh, if, we, if I must put it that way. And we have this uh, dwindling national revenue coming from the uh, center. Uh, every day we talk about the allocation, um, a reduction in allocation because uh, the oil is not even, uh, we don't have the boom uh, until recently, if not for the uh, Ukraine, Russia um, debacle that is pushing the uh, um, the crude oil, is pushing it, uh, 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 it. We have an upward review in the uh, amount. So how do you meet? intend to meet up with some of these critical obligations like the salaries that the pensions that you've mentioned because the present administration uh, has come out to say we have paucity of funds that's why we cannot meet up with some of these obligations how do you intend to uh, to change that narrative uh, two things uh, mike uh, don't forget that uh, for between two th 1996 and uh, almost at the end of 1999 I was a uh, consultant to Lagos State Government on revenues. Okay. I moved the revenues from traffic. What, what, what year was it? Uh, when was the government? Yeah, no, no, when Tinubu, just before Tinubu, Tinubu came in 1990. Okay. Nine. okay. Uh, when uh, Unila was oh, there, okay. uh, uh, Kovelo Unila was there, I was the revenue consultant for traffics. And we moved the revenues from uh, 300 million to almost 1 billion in Lagos State. And I have. Uh, uh, enormous, uh, uh, I, had, I received enormous uh, commendation from Lagos State Government. The problem we have in Abia State is not paucity of funds. Okay. What we have in Abia State is the management of the funds we have. I, I can give you records. Are you saying it is uh, very, it, very, it, very clear records? See, I don't even need to go double into what the, the management is. It's management positively or negatively. Well, management. well, uh, the funds of Abia State are very poorly managed. Okay. Very poorly managed. If we take a look at what happened in our uh, neighbor, neighboring states uh, for eight years, how much did uh, Alan State government get from the time of uh, B2B? Mm. B2B never borrowed one penny from anybody. No bank borrowing. No individual borrowing. B2B managed the accounts of Alan Brasted for eight years, paid salaries, constructed roads, Paid workers, paid uh, pensioners, mm. constructed schools, hostels, and still left billions in account. It is the management of the resources. And also, very importantly, this process of revenue generation in Abia State is very substandard. It's very primitive. It's very old. We have modern revenue generation strategies and systems. Today in Abia State, uh, hoodlums never do well social misfits touts are collecting revenue for abia state how can you account for revenues that are being collected by touts that's what we have go and check out the roads in abia state everywhere in fact markets in abia states are being harassed every day by touts mm. uh, even little, little, little hawkers regular hawkers are being harassed by criminals on the streets and if that is the revenue generation process and re revenue generation formula of abia state it will be very weak I have enough capacity to even through PIT, personal income taxes, regular personal income taxes. If you block the leakages, you find out that Abia State has so much, so much money to, to work with. So it is not paucity of funds. It's not the lack of funds in Abia State. It is the management of the funds we have. A bunny state is not getting more than Abia State. No. Let me bunny. And they have no even commercial centers where you can effectively harness. Without necessarily putting extra taxes on people, you can effectively harness the existing tax structures mm. to ensure that you have enough taxes. The problem is having the right people to manage the affairs of the state. That is the problem of Abia State. Okay. And if that is put in place. Let, let's talk we'll what it is pro proper now. A away from Abia, why you want to become the governor. Let's talk about your party and the zoning issue that is causing problem in the pdp it is a pdp affair uh, but many persons are saying that uh, well we should also consider it in other political party uh, parties in the state especially in fielding of their candidate like simeon Nwokocha 
on our Facebook page who is watching live says, please sir, I want to know the local government and the senatorial zone that you are coming from. Maybe we should begin with that. Oh yes, I'm from Arochuku, uh, Arochuku mm. local government and the Sabia North senatorial zone in Abia State. That's where I'm coming from. So, what do you make of zoning in the state? Yeah, I'm sure you're familiar with the issues that are concerning zoning arrangement of the PDP and opposition to you. Honestly, if you ask me, I strongly believe that every section of the society, whether local government or senatorial zone, ought to have the ability to showcase their capacity to rule the state. Okay. I believe in uh, equity. I believe in distribution of wealth properly. I believe in also allowing uh, gender uh, sections to have uh, the equity participation mm. in the system. But I'm more concerned about quality of the person that is going to be the governor of Fabia State than where he's coming from. I'm more concerned so you're about... So you have the opinion of competence over absolute, zoning? Absolute competence. If competence you are not... should come before zoning? Is competence should come before zoning. If you're not competent, you ought not to be the governor of Abia State. We don't want the zone to create the same problem we have right now in Abia State. It is zoning that causes this problem. Ah, what I'm, don't forget that I contested the elections the last time. And I emphasized the need for us to, in zoning, ensure you zone to somebody with character. Zone, with some, some, so zone to somebody with capacity. Zoom to somebody that has the fear of God. In hiring a staff, for goodness sake, we keep saying it. In hiring a staff, you look about skill, you look about motivation, and you look about integrity. Character and integrity. Mm. If he does not have character and integrity, don't hire him. No matter how educated he is. An educated criminal is worse than an illiterate criminal. An educated criminal is a danger to the society. And that's what we have today. And it's unfortunate. Uh, we have insisted that zoning is good, mm. but who are we zoning to? Okay, let us get people who have honesty of purpose and character in their endeavors. So, actually, well, say, let's talk about how strong your party is in Abia State. Uh, Irregular on our Facebook page says the only problem you have now is the party you are into. APC is the only party that can challenge PDP in Abia State. It's better you sit back. Uh, Young King says you are good to go, but the party you are in. Uh, to well that will take you back why don't you choose apc as a party why uh why not come to pdp so the question is how strong is the all progressive ground alliance in abia state many persons are saying that since the departure of uh, dr alex Oti from your party that there is nothing to talk about in the all progressive ground alliance again that the party is no longer strong as a, as a viable opposition in abia state I don't know why they say that. Okay. I'm not talking about uh, less than 5% of the voters are party men. If you talk about party men, less than 5% are party men. The greater part of the society are not party, they're not partisan. They don't belong to any party. So 95% of the voters don't belong that, to that, any party. That's according to your statistics. That's according to known yeah. statistics. Okay. That, that's a, that's a, according to... Uh, 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 Nigerian Bureau of Statistics. Okay. It's official. Less than 5% of the voters are party men. So what we're talking about is the society, 95% of the, of the voters, voters, will check and say, who do we put in there to do the job of the people? It is not who is in which party. You see what's going to happen this time around. It's going to be okay. who, what is, is the capacity is Abga of the strong person? in Abia State. Abia is absolutely strong. Uh, sorry, Abga is ab uh, absolutely strong. Why do you say so? Of course, but I know so. I'm part of them. Abga is in every ward, in every local government, and in the state, very strong. We have massive party machinery. Don't forget the other day, I came out to do a little bit, a little bit of uh, palliative mm -hmm. for our people, and then I did a little bit of palliative for our party people. And I also did welcoming of people into a political party in my local government. The numbers were enormous. Enormous. People are now beginning to even join to make sure that Chiku Densi becomes the governor of Abia State and change this narrative, change these horrible things Abians are suffering. That's what I think and that's what I believe in. Uh, you've remained in Abga 
despite Abga not performing so well in Abia State, in, uh, if you check uh, uh, a long time, uh, to the duration of time that you've been in Abga, and you've not left the party despite some stakeholders leaving the party, some joining the party. What do you make of the defections into the party? We are hearing, although we can't, we can't confirm some uh, big names that are planning to join your party in the coming days. Uh, what do you make of this as a governorship uh, aspirant who is um, looking to becoming the candidate of your party? Uh, Mike, I believe in consistency. Okay. If you believe in a project, you remain committed to the project. If you believe in a party, if it's a lowly leveled party, you try to help the party grow. Most of our politicians are criminals jumping from one place to another. Where they see benefits, they jump into it. We hear about we heard about uh, uh, somebody who is now jumping into Abga. He was in, P in PDP for ten years, helping building PDP. Picked up his forms in PDP, and suddenly there has not been a primaries yet. Who is that person? I don't know. I, 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 I forgot his name. Suddenly, oh. suddenly he left uh, PDP and jumped into Abga to buy forms in Abga because he thinks he can come and hoodwink people. If you have people who are absolutely inconsistent, people whose interest is just the benefits they will get from where they jump into, then there are people that are worth leaving the leadership of a state in their hands. I'm consistent. I have remained in Abga, helped in building Abga, uh, passed through the forces of push and pull in Abga, and today we are building up to make sure that we have competent people, honest people, that will run the affairs of our state. This level of fluidity, moving from one place to the other. Today you are in Abga, tomorrow in PDP, the next day you are in APC. It's all a bunch of fraud. Just political fraud. What else can you call it? These people have no uh, uh, principles. They have no programs. They can move from one place to the other. The next day they are in the next position. The next day they are in this position. In fact, let me give you information. Okay. They are in Abga. Or maybe they move from a party like uh, PDP to Abga. They will criticize PDP and say PDP is rubbish. From from Abga, they move to APC. They will criticize Abga and say Abga is nonsense. In their mind, APC, they move to another party. Are these people you can trust with these affairs of the state? Are you saying that you don't want people to join Abga to boost the ranks of the party in this no, state? No, I'm not saying that. Okay. The doors are wide open for everybody to join. But I'm just trying to characterize the attitude of those who are joining. Anybody, the, 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 the doors are well, open. This, this must scare so, people that may want to join your party. Uh, oh, uh, the, the more, the more, the more, the merrier. The more, the merrier. Okay. Uh, it's always very good to allow your doors open for everybody to come in. And those who come in will bring in their positives and their negatives. But what I'm saying is this. Leadership requires consistency. Mm. Leadership requires honesty. Leadership requires solidification of your ideas and ideals. Your characters and characteristics. Your manners and mannerisms. It's very important. It's not just to be from one place to the other. Every party has its manifesto. If you are moving from Abga to a PDP. You are moving from a different manifesto, a different program, a different ideology to another one. So what? how can you, within two years, move into three areas and tell us you have principles? Let me, hit the, no nail, principles let me hit the nail on the head uh, because uh, there are indications and that this, from the feelers we're getting from our sources because we have our own way of uh, making our findings right here also. Uh, Sachiko Udense, we understand that uh, you are an Abga stakeholder and i'm asking you this question because you're a stakeholder in the party abga you've remained in abga for a long time there are indications that uh, professor gregory Ibe is making consultations to join your party uh, because of obviously maybe a crisis in the pdp uh, can you confirm this he's not making no consultations he has joined already he has bought his forms i spoke to him uh, some time ago that was two weeks ago uh, before he joined he has already joined he has uh, registered in uh, local government and he has joined. So he's now officially a member of the All Progressive Grand Alliance. Yes, yeah. From the records we have, he's a member of the All Progressive Grand Alliance. How do you receive this? He's also um, having that intention in becoming the governor of Abia State. It looks like uh, you may have to slug it out with him. 
Oh, not only him. There are two other people. Uh, I'm told uh, one uh, minister, minister is also joining. Um, you, you know that uh, retired uh, Major General. Uh, I can't remember his name very well. I think it's uh, uh, Ijama. Ijama has also Ijama, joined. Ijama, yes. So you see, it's going to be an open uh, competition. When everybody comes in, uh, will contest. And the party will decide on who they want. Are you at home with your delegates? Because you've been in the party for long, so you have your way around the party. So how are you at home? Uh, are you at home with the delegates of the party? Uh, Ms. Tony, do yes. you want me to expose my strategies to you? <laughs> I will ask you uh, I'm, I'm, I'm beginning yes. to suspect that you, you, are, you are working for one of my uh, opponents. I'm not working for any of your opponents <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. uh, I have my strategies. Uh, I have been learning sports, mm. and I've learned to be smart. I have my strategies, and I can assure you that uh, uh, through hard work and providence, I will be the candidate of Abga. You mentioned just now that uh, a minister has joined. I has is proposed. If I had a it's meeting proposed, yesterday, yeah. we were told and, uh, a serving or a retired minister. A serving minister. Uh, oh, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Absolutely, he'll be he'll be joining soon. I'm told. But what's the name of the minister? I don't know their names oh, much. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we take a break now. When we return, we continue the conversation. I have been speaking with Sachiko Udense. Of course, you can join the conversation on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash flow nine four nine FM. Of course, is the aspirant, one of the aspirants of the All Progressive Grand Alliance uh, for the governorship uh, uh, seat. Of course, uh, it is flow nine four nine FM. Stay tuned. Thank you very much for staying tuned still the platform the pinnacle of all discussions right here on flow 94.9 fm it is the flow of garden state we've been having very wonderful uh conversation with uh, sachiko dense of course uh, he has revealed a lot uh, this morning on the program in case you've missed you can get back to our facebook page and uh, watch the conversation facebook.com forward slash flow 949 fm it's official professor gregory ebay is now a member of the all progressive grant alliance you heard it first here and uh in the coming days, a lot of horse trading. Well, of course, uh, looking at how some of these persons uh, uh, joining the party will get the ticket of the party. We don't know. I, I'm not so conversant with the constitution of the All Progressive Grand Alliance. If that uh, will uh, uh, be in their favor, I mean, those joining the party. But definitely, we we'll keep our ears on ground and, of course, our eyes open so that we we'll bring you up to speed on that. Anyways, uh, Sachiko Dense, thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank and, of you, course, thank uh, joining thank us. You for uh, the pro and the program this mm. morning so let's uh, ask you what do you expect from Abians ahead of the elections uh, because as we speak now the politicking has started are the right questions being asked by Abians are you um, are you comfortable with uh, the questions being asked by Abians are you impressed and put it that way uh, with uh, the politicking that is taking place uh, in the state ahead of the 2023 general elections well, that depends on who you ask. Uh, there are different categories of people in Abia today. There are those who are adamantly mm. party men, no matter who you bring from that party. Even if you bring uh, somebody who is a non-criminal, he will still support the person in the party. There are those also who are neither here nor there. They are whatever, whatever they see, they take. Mm. But the beauty of it is that the greater majority of Abians want change. Okay. The greater majority of Abians want a competent hand. The greater majority of Abians want somebody who is known to have managed human beings and resources. Somebody who have by himself created wealth in hundreds of billions and in billions. That is the only person that can manage the resources of Abia State today and also create wealth and manage people. Uh, so it depends on who you ask, but I'm happy, very comfortable that most Abians, a greater majority of Abians, believe that we need to change what is happening today. At, at least ensure we have a decent group of people managing the affairs of the state. Okay, let's get reactions from the phone lines and uh, all our feedback platforms right here on Flu FM. The comments are already pouring in on our Facebook page. Uh, we're streaming live there. You can watch uh, what is happening in the studio live on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash flow 949 FM. Uh, you can also call the studio, studio phone lines 0808 182 or 0811 605 
0906-510-2949. Also drop messages on 906 510 It is the platform, the pinnacle of all discussions on Flow 94.9 FM. Hello, good morning to you. Beautiful morning this morning, Mr. Michael Oli. Good morning. And, uh, yes, uh, in common leader of what I said. Good morning to uh, Mr. Kito Obesi. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, I still remember I'm taking that for him. Right? Well, well, I'm calling all the way from Mikuano. The first thing I'm doing is, I'm all... We are there. Every group of people are there. And I'm just going to see what before now. That is going to result to this level of uh, mayhem. And uh, this is our ruling party in other states. And this time I'm not going to be a member of a party or any party you belong to. But you might be in any party, but what matters most? Where yeah, are you going to uh, extend our franchise? Yeah, going, many people will now be the man to be a follower of the party, but on the other day, they will not carry their goal to the right person. Because I want to think about the personality, what you have uh, done, what you have in, uh, at hand, what you are seeing at the city of Abadi. So what are we trying to say now? We are going to support anyone who has all the things. As we have been saying, people are hearing you. Before now, we know that all the things in capacity in our GDP will still come to this level. And now, people are still telling us, what I want to advise you as your comment. Please, I need to be open. Very wide, wide, wide open. Because the people who are coming to join after, they might come there to be a people who can come there to cause a problem. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us. Hello, good morning to you. Hello, good morning. Good morning, you're welcome. Uh, good morning, uh, Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yeah, I'm happy to look at the report of you there, Michael and my chief. Yeah. On the What's your name, please? My name is my name is Mr. Ken, calling from Omar. So I really want to appreciate the uh, chief for coming out. And there is one candidate and question I have. Some time ago in the politics of the city, one of the Adria, who is presently the governor, came out with a group of political model. Political model. He was politicizing outside the shores of the nation and uh, doing all the advertisements, uh, uh, jingles and advert with CNN and all this stuff. You know, so it was a uh, not really a grassroots stuff. So I just have this question for my chief. Yeah. Do you really have the grassroots? Like uh, uh, my convention, with credibility. How acquainted are you with the common man, even among your community, even uh, among the, the state? How no, well right. do you know you? That is actually one of the questions because you begin to mention your profile and your EV that is quite the normal. But how does it really affect the common man around you? All right. to guarantee your success in the upcoming election. Th thank you for your question. He's going to respond to your question um, in uh, some minutes. Hello, good morning to you. Mike Salome, good morning. You're welcome, good morning. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning. Uh, good morning. My name is Tawakwe Chidebe, and I'm representing for my friend in the LGA. Uh, I think it is so much appreciated to have said so far. There's a question that might come in to you, and uh, I expect you to work very hard as you back to that, because uh, most of these delegates, sorry to say it, they are hungry. You know, whenever they feel like they will move to white, whenever they see blue, they will move to blue. You know, uh, so, uh, I think that they the uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, they may try to say we've been with Chiku Densi for years, so let us go and try this new oil that are coming to the uh, old glass. Uh, forgetting that the, the, the old glass has been there, sustaining the oil that has been there already. Uh, what am I trying to say? You must have to do your uh, homework very, very well. That's number one. Number two is, uh, is the question. Uh, if you become a government tomorrow, what, where is the place of the youth in your administration? Number two question. Yeah, yes, the yeah. aged ones in the state, in the aged ones in the state, 
where is their place if he become a governor? All right, you God bless you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Thank you. Asked a hydra, a hydra headed uh, question, but it's okay. But we can take that. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning, Michael. You're welcome. Good morning. Yeah, we know my, 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 my security is Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Thank you so much. I remember Mr. Prince will struggle from here. I don't want to go. Honorable, please, I would like to ask a question. As regards this um, incessant discussion of um, people, by those that are coming to your party as now, please, how can you take it? How can you refer it with this illegality trying to be legalized by the, by our, 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 our higher court? What's the fact that the one that's going on now between them? Um, I am a boy and um, cross river. Is, is it right that the session is immoral? And um, now the court is trying to make it legalize, legalizing it. Is it right? That's my question. May God bless you, my brother. All right. Thank you for very much for making a shot. Hello. Good morning to you. Welcome to the platform on Flow FM. Good morning, Michael. Good morning. Uh, can, can you be more audible so that we can have a yeah, smooth good, conversation? Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Chief. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. God bless you. I just have two questions to ask. Yes, sir. Ike, is that you? Yes, sir. All right, all right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I just have one question, two questions. One, you last kept making reference to 707 Lucas or 40 something Lucas of me, you ran. I don't understand. I need some clarification. You ran as we are running one local government as a chairman who takes care of the entire local government. And what purpose we need explanation on that? That's one. Then two, consider the situation in the country today. And you are security, intelligence, and expertise. How much have you been able to assist the president or even the state in the aspect of security? And how much have they been rejecting your contribution? We need to know what you have done to assist. That's the All right. Thank you, uh, thank you, sir. Ike, very important question. Uh, hello, good morning to you. Welcome. Uh, uh, good morning, Michael. You're welcome. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, good morning. Yeah, I have um, two questions. One, the first one is um, the one that I asked you about the Afghan people. Now that um, uh, some people are joining Afghan, and many of them are regarded as uh, a big group. If at the end of the day, um, in the primary, you lose to uh, some other person, will you remain in Abda and support whoever emerges as your gubernatorial candidate? Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Let me run through the messages so that uh, he can uh, answer your questions and your contributions. Um, Osebulua from Olokoro says, uh, Hello, Sir Chukwe Udense. Uh, he has what it takes to become the governor. He will have my vote if he scales through. Uh, we are ready to vote PDP out. Um, NRM from Umahia says, uh, Sir Chukwe, thank you. I want to appreciate the little bid you extended to the pensioners by the way by way of giving few of them some palliatives. Mr. Udense, Abians would want to you to state clearly on the media now how are you going to pay pensions arrears of backlog of pensions gratuities if you become the governor otherwise one would conclude that you and your political associates are now using the pensioners to deceive us and facilitate your political campaign all right uh my question sir is if the delegates vote professor Ibe at the primary election will you support him that's that's the second time the question is coming up uh, victor from uma here says what abians need now is competent person as governor of, of uh, not zoning the new electoral act has banned writing of electoral results and i urge abians to get registered uh while vote might not have counted in the past but it will surely count in 2023 sir udense you have a liberal mind to accommodate even your enemies i pray you fly the abgaguba flag uh, don d from obingwa Hello, sir, from uh, Obuagu, Nobolenyuku. Uh, now that it appears that the eclipse of zoning has revolved to our cloudy storm, please save our salaries, pensions, and gratuity without recourse. 
uh, those are the messages we can take uh, because of our time uh, we can you can keep your comments coming on our online platform facebook.com forward slash flow 949 fm yes you have the floor you can respond yeah, to let me let me time. respond to the very yes, important sir. ones uh, i can respond to all of them first and foremost somebody said uh, that i ran 774 local government he doesn't seem to understand what it is i was secretary general what i mean by i ran is that i managed i governed i administered 774 local governments it is called algon the association of local governments it's a pivot on which most activities mm. of joint activities of local governments are being carried out i did that for six years i was the head of administration of algon for six years that is why i mean when i ran 774 local governments somebody didn't understand what uh, security interpol security means and what contribution it brings to government mm. interpol is uh, the pivot the security arrangement of 195 countries of the world it is a cross-border crime prevention system that is called the i247 i don't know how okay. best i can explain this to you uh, for you to understand security it. terms yeah these are security terms but 195 countries of the world are all joined up to be one security apparatus mm. called interpol systems that is what it is and about uh abga candidacy of course i'll support anybody abga chooses to be the candidate uh, hoping also that they will support me if i'm chosen uh, once anybody is chosen i will put all my instrumentality to ensure that the person who is chosen wins mm -hmm. but the person must be a man of character if you don't have character i will not support you if you don't have integrity i will not support you if you don't have a known structure of honesty in your previous dealings i will not support you somebody asks about uh, how i will pay pension pensioners already i have started using my own money to pay them i have done the first one i'm going to do two or three more uh, depending on my strength before the end of this year if i can use my own funds to support pensioners why wouldn't i use common wealth common funds to do that and it is their duty it is our duty to ensure that if somebody has put in 35 years of his youth in the service of his nation, in the service of his state, in the service of his local government, and when he is now old, you cannot make sure he gets what is legitimately and legally due to him. That is the height of wickedness. That is the height of insincerity and the height of uh, 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 evil, if you ask me. Mm. A man in his old age cannot benefit from the effort he has so far contributed in. That is not fair. That is what I'm concerned about. I have in interacted very closely with these pensioners. That is why I had to shelve most of my activities to make sure I used my money to pay. If I can use my own personal funds, it is not easy to use your own personal funds to help pensioners. How much did I spend to, to go around 17 local government to help pensioners? Then why can't I use the money of government where they are legitimately entitled to? Uh, only, I don't understand it. Uh, you should know uh, one's attitude from what he has done before. You should know what I will do today for what I've done before. There are enough money to pay pensioners. I have looked into the system. I have discussed with everybody that is concerned the government. Are you acquainted if, with uh, the uh, account balance? For the past, for the past uh, uh, eight months, just immediately after the COVID uh, problem we had, the, uh, we have ranged between 4.8 to 6.5 billion every month. Allocation from FAC, the federal allocation. That's for both the state and the local government. No, 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 no. That does not include the money coming from local government into the joint account. No, I'm talking about allocation to the state. It does not include intervention funds. It does not include excess crude. It does not include uh, intermediate revenue, IGR. That's what I'm saying. 
At the time, Abia State got almost 18 billion from accumulated revenues. So we're not talking about not having funds. We're talking about the management of the funds. The funds of Abia State is simply mismanaged, period. Simply mismanaged. All right. And we can do better than that. Interesting. All right. We hope to have more of you right here on this platform, Flow 94.9 FM. Thank you very much for joining us. Very interesting conversation. And of course, I'm sure some of the issues we discussed here today will raise issues and uh, we will still reach out to you as the event unfolds. And of course, follow your activities in your party, the All Progressive Grand Alliance. Thank you very much, Asachukwe Udense, for joining us this morning on the platform on Flow FM. We do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me commend your uh, studios. Very beautiful studio. Oh, thank and, you. Uh, I can also attest to the superiority of your uh, equipment. <laughs> very beautiful equipment. <laughs> thank you. Thanks I'm for happy. having this me. Is, thanks this for is having coming me. From you. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, many thanks to my producer, Samson Eze and uh, Eze Neokoro, and the guys behind the visuals on our Facebook page, uh, uh, Stanley and uh, Chinedu. Do enjoy the rest of your day. Have a fantastic day and stay out of trouble. My name is Michael Oni. Thank you.